Dr. Jacqueline Turner of West End OBGYN. Today we're going to be talking about uterine fibroids. Uh, uterine fibroids are very common in women of reproductive age. Statistics are that they uh, affect approximately 25% of women of childbearing age and they are uh, substantially more common in women who are of African American descent. Fibroids are smooth muscle tumors that develop in the uterus. They are benign, uh, but they can cause a variety of symptoms. If they're small, they frequently cause no symptoms, but typically as they enlarge, they can cause symptoms such as excessive bleeding, um, uterine discomfort, pain, um, urinary symptoms, and various things like that. Sometimes fibroids require removal. There are surgical procedures that remove the fibroids but leave the uterus in place for women who desire future childbearing. Sometimes we do hysterectomy, which is the surgery that removes the uterus itself. Um, sometimes when we do hysterectomies, we leave the ovaries in place so that the patient does not become menopausal at that time. There are a variety of other treatments also available for treating fibroids. Sometimes we use uh, medications. For instance, if the patient has excessive bleeding, sometimes we use hormonal medications to treat that. Um, sometimes we use the hormone-containing intrauterine device to control excessive bleeding. There are also other treatments such as uterine fibroid embolization which help to shrink the fibroids and diminish the symptoms that the patient has so that major surgery is not required. Fibroids do not turn into cancer. So when we treat them, we're really treating them to alleviate symptoms related to the presence of the fibroids. An abdominal incision is not always required to treat fibroids. Sometimes we do laparoscopic surgeries which are the surgeries that are called minimally invasive. So the incisions in those procedures are small and uh, can thereby avoid a major abdominal incision. And we do do those kind of procedures. But most tumors in the uterus are fibroids. Of course, there are possible other tumors that can arise, but ultrasound is very helpful in determining uh, the type of tumors that are causing an individual's uterus to be enlarged, for instance. 